everyone welcome back to another studio vlog and welcome back to another week this is actually friday and it feels kind of weird because i normally don't film on a friday or i start to film like in the beginning of the week um but this week uh today there is going to be a new video on my channel and i'm posting a tutorial with wix of how i set up my online shop i'm going to leave a link in the cards and in the description if you want to check that out yeah i didn't fl filmed um anything still this week but yeah i wanted to chat with you a little bit i received some things i received um some things for a fair i was supposed to have tomorrow but what's kind so I have to take all of this out. I was trying to see how I would set up. I bought one of those grid kind of things on Amazon um, so I can have like more three-dimensional things and height instead of putting everything on the table and today I also got a hearing display which is super super cute and nice and it turns out it arrived on time but the fair it's not going to happen because there's new restrictions um, and everything so I know now how to set up things I haven't been doing fairs for more than two years now as mostly everyone um so since then i already have a lot more products i used to only have like notebook stickers um and a few couple of mugs when i did them the first time so it was really easy to set up on the table because i didn't have a lot of things really but yeah i wanted to chat with you and let you know all about that in this video i want to take product photos um i want to order new bookmarks i want to mount the notebooks that way i can do bundles once that is out in like gift boxes and i'm going to also um do gift cards so yeah let me show you what i got for that so i got these stickers a couple of months ago i discovered that you can buy this self um, like already cut uh, stickers this is like scratch off stickers so what i'm going to do is like a gift card then i'm going to add a code for each gift card and then hide it with the scratch card and then when people want to use the um, gift card they can use like the sketch card thing so it's like um it doesn't show if i also want to sell them in fairs um and all that kind of thing so this is what i bought and i actually also bought something very exciting <laughs> So I made a reel all about this on my Instagram uh, and I also posted it on TikTok. I did, saw a reel and a TikTok that it was like someone shredding boxes and creating like this um, eco-friendly fillers because you can just reuse the boxes. So let me show you. <laughs> So this is the one, um, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to get one, let me take this out. So basically you just put the cardboard in here and it shredded to pieces, so let me show you. So this is the result, as you can see it cut off in like little cardboard pieces and you can just add this on like boxes and stuff like that and protect your packages and it's super nice and eco-friendly and i can finally reuse all the boxes that i've been ordering um so far so quite happy with it and it's so satisfying to see like all the little pieces so yeah i thought i could show you as well yeah it's one of those things that <laughs> you realize you are an adult now uh, when you start to get excited about these things but yeah I wanted to show you because it's a really nice way to reuse things and I know this kind of fillers are super expensive I never bought them because of that I just use like rolled up tissue paper and all of that but it doesn't really protect that much so this is going to be super super cool and I'm really excited about it so yeah I'm going to dismount all of this mess for like the the fair and all of that it looks so pretty i'm even sad to like dismount it oh so yeah i'll be doing that and then i'll be taking some product photos so let's go it looks so pretty <laughs>
it's now next week and this is the second time that I'm recording this because I had an error with my memory card but yeah anyway <laughs> it's now next week and it's super super gloomy um, as you can see I had to light up all the lights here in the studio and once the sun goes down it gets really really dark and when it's gloomy anyway i already finished up um taking the photos for the decorations for the wrapping paper for the socks and for the mugs as well now i need to get going on like finishing the notebooks and all of that but actually on friday i arrived at my mom's house and i had a package over there waiting for me which was kind of unexpected and they wore the washi tape so let me show you the final results of the designs So here's the winter fair theme and please don't mind my nails, they look really really bad right now, I need to redo them, redo them but this is like the winter wonderland one, then we have Steve the cat which I really really love and then we have the cozy winter one so let's open them. they are i think they look so so cute my favorite i think it's definitely steve but i know this one it's also a favorite and i wasn't too convinced about it but once i saw it like on real life i really really like it um this one i think the um, like the base color it's a little darker than i wanted but i really really like the end result as well and you can see like all the details and all the kind of things which I'm always worried that you can't really see because it's such a small um, product but I really really like the fine results so I also have to take photos of all of these um, together with the notebooks and all of that so yeah I wanted to show you this and I'm really happy they, they arrived I was expecting them to uh, take a lot longer than they did so quite happy with it But yeah, let's mount some notebooks so we can start finishing taking the photos, so let's go!
as you can see I had to bring my old computer here because a little accident happened a couple of days ago I was getting ready to start my day and now I got in this kind of routine that I drink my morning coffee um, here in the studio and I spilled milk and coffee on top of my new MacBook that I bought like three months ago <sighs> I'm so sad and I was so so mad because I'm always so so careful but yeah it was a big spill and it was functioning okay but I called like the app store the Apple store and they told me that it's always better to check and open it to see if everything is running okay because a week from now I can have like major issues and then I have to get a new computer so I thought better safe than sorry a lot of you guys send me messages to like put it on rice and all kind of things and maybe if it was like an old computer I would do that <laughs> but it's like it's almost brand new and I don't want to risk it so I send it out and I'm still waiting for like um, pricing and to see if everything was okay it can take up to two weeks so that I have the computer again so I had to bring the desktop that I had it's super slow and I didn't notice it was so slow once I now got back to it again I was trying to edit a video yeah it's not the same thing but at least I have like this option and I can still do some work uh, while I don't have my um, MacBook so yeah it will be a lot of work because I basically have to um, set it up for this network and I have to install the printers again it's going to be a mess but I didn't film anything because I was just too stressed out as you can imagine <laughs> oh my god and yeah my voice is a little bit weird because i'm kind of um with a cold i already did a test and it's negative so it's just a cold yeah i already finished the notebooks um it's the last thing i want to take photos of i would like to still um do the um, like the gift um cards and all that kind of things so that is the plan for today so let's hope i can make that the patreon goodies are going to be a little bit later i already posted on patreon telling all about that because yeah i need to set up the printers and the silhouette and all of that so yeah a lot of things to do i'm feeling better than i was last tuesday but yeah let's go and get the work started but first i would like to open some packages with you so yeah let's check these goodies Okay, so this one is from the lovely Adele. She has a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave her links um, in the description. I hope I won't forget because I keep forgetting to add stuff. Um, but yeah, I order a pin on a pre-order. It's such a cute design, so I can't wait to see it. Look at these cute envelopes that she made. This is... Gorgeous! Look at all these details. This is such a pretty pin. And she also sent it a matching sticker. This is absolutely stunning, Adele. Oh my god, thank you so much. I'm going to put it on my pin board. And oh my god, it's so pretty and detailed. Look at him! And then I got this super exciting box as well. You may recognize it from the tape, so... Let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh, it was packed by Emily. Actually, all the orders that I ever ordered from Catnip, like ever, they were always uh, packed by Emily. So <laughs> that's kind of nice. Thank you, Emily. Let's open this. Wait, let me take a picture. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> It's Bumble Butts. Oh my god, it looks so sweet. <laughs> Look at him peeking. Let's take him out. Oh my god, it's so sweet. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. This is so cool. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so adorable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this is the sweetest thing ever. I can't wait to grow my business as Catherine did and have plushies someday because this is such a major step and like oh my god it's so cool like to see a character come alive it's so sweet and cute <laughs> but yeah let's um get to work because i really need to <laughs> but i really wanted to show it because it is just so adorable oh my god i'm so happy with it <laughs> So photos are done. This is like the little setup. I think I normally use like kind of always the same setup. I try to like change around the decorations and all but I really really like it and it makes like my website and photos and all that kind of things to look, I don't know, more cohesive. Um, so yeah, the photos are done. And I thought I could show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I prepare for a shop update. So basically, I don't know if you noticed that, but I like to always use like the same filter on my photos. I made uh, this filter on Instagram. It's called Pastel and you can search it up um, on my Instagram or something like that. So what I do is when I'm taking product photos, I always have my phone and I try like to take photos and I basically save them. So basically I like the stories to always have the same look and all of that. Um, so uh, I don't have to keep mounting everything. I keep doing this while I'm taking photos. And then what I do is when I want to promote like the products or the shop page or all the kind of th things, I just go to my like my photos and I can pick the ones that have the filter already and that I took while I was like taking the photos and all that kind of things and that really helps to put it all together and already have like this um, kind of photo library of the shop update but they always uh, fit like the aesthetic that I use on my Instagram story so I thought you could um, <laughs> it was I don't know it was fun for you too. It was interesting for you to uh, know that. Basically, I just took all of these photos at the same time that I'm taking the product photos and all. And then I just keep using that so I don't have to keep taking product photos and all of that. But I always leave this setup um, until I do the shop update and until a few days uh, after. So if I need to take like a photo or something like that to put on Instagram or so, yeah, I can use it and don't have to keep mounting it. And then after taking all the photos, as you can see, I have like the older the products here. And then I just try to take a photo of all of them together and some videos. And I do the same like with my phone and all of that so I can also have photos of all the products together. So 
yeah that's kind of a little um of the behind the scenes of what i do while i'm preparing for the shop update so it will make my life a little bit easier <laughs> And while I was taking the photos, I was cutting the sticker sheets. I already cut all of these, as you can see over here. I'm also restocking last year designs. I only had like two of the snow globes and one of the Steve. So I'm restocking these ones as well while I'm cutting the new designs as well. And I moved to this table because the one that I was using, it's way too far from the silhouette and I have to keep like going from here to there and all that kind of thing. So it's a lot Lot easier and faster to just be here even though it occupies most of this table and please don't see this this was a burnt bad experience but I had to use it somehow so I kept it for myself um, so yeah I will already I still have a lot of these to cut but not too many so I'm just going to finish that and then we are done through all these things. It's now the next day and yesterday I ended up finish cutting all of these so these are ready I just need to do like the mock-ups I took some new photos with this background as well and I just need to do some mock-ups um, with them if you want to check how I do mock-ups I did a tutorial on patreon a few months ago explaining how I do that for several products so if you want to check that out that will be there and now I was working on the mugs I did this costume one that you can see over here here some of you told me like in the comments of previous vlogs um, that this will look better in here I was putting it like on this part and it makes a lot more sense so I wanted to try that out and I also did one with no personalization and then I did some with these designs because I only had seconds so I can take photos of them and then I've been trying out some new decorations. I wanted to use these art ones, but with the designs that I had, um, they didn't look too good. So I thought I could make them like in patterns. I'm going to add an option so you can do like choose these pattern ones in the other ones. But for the heart ones, they will only be available for the patterns. So this is like the final result and I think these are my favorites. I just love doing patterns. They just look so so cool. And then I also tried with like with customizations. Uh, this one is for my sister uh, because I didn't want to put like my name in all of them. Um, so I need to do some changes on this type of thing. Then I did this one. And this one, I'm going to have a few more designs that I'm going to add, like in mock-ups and stuff like that. But I don't have a lot of decorations, so I didn't want to waste them all on tryouts and stuff like that. So I just want to see how they would look um, on different designs. And I also tried 
this design in here. These ones uh, weren't um, weren't the time um, that they needed to be on the press, so they are a little faded, but I think they look super, super cute. And I just love this shape. It's so, so fun and nice. So yeah, these were the tryouts. I just need to take photos, like add the little um, bow and then take photos of this as well. Yesterday I also took care of most of the listings, like of the previous photos that I had edited and all of that So that part is also done and it's the part that I dislike the most because it's just so boring You just have to put like photos and all of those things um, So yeah, I just need to take photos of the products that I did today and then I'll um, add all of that on the shop And then take the photo of all the products because I want to do a banner for the shop with that and also then create the Instagram post with that as well so yeah I still need to do a lot of things but um, it's not really fun to film them because it's just mostly me on the computer so I'm going to finish this studio vlog here I'm really sorry for my voice again uh, but yeah my cold it's getting um, it's getting to me so yeah I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog I hope you enjoyed seeing like the a little bit more of the behind the scenes of getting ready for a shop update and preparing the products and all that kind of things it's just not preparing the products, it's also taking photos and all the time of being the computer, um, changing them until they are perfect and that you are happy with them. So yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing all of that process um, and I hope you enjoy spending another week with me here in the studio. And yeah, the shop update will be tomorrow, uh, December 4th, uh, Saturday at 4 p.m. Um, wet. So yeah, if you want to go check my Instagram, I'm going to leave a countdown there so it's a little bit easier for you so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye